Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. We're coming to you from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I thought this would be a kind of a fun vlog today. I found this place, it's a uh, vintage muscle car museum, muscle at the beach. It's called Wheels of Yesteryear. Let's go check out some old muscle cars. What do you say, Days with Jordan the Lion? Begins right now. I read that it's a husband and wife's private collection, but I don't know of specifically what they have inside. Just that a lot of people said it's a must see. So he told me as soon as we walked in, he said there's a lot of Mopars in here. And he said if it says on the car that it's a survivor, that means that in no way has it been touched or altered or anything. It's completely original. Here they've got a white 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Roadrunner with Richard Petty <laughs> riding in the back. And here they've got the 1971 official pace car of the Indianapolis 500, 55th. And they said that they're opening a new room that's on display starting today. Look at that, old Plymouth 413. Some things are documented, some are not. Ooh, I love the way it's laid out. This is great. 1957 Chevy hardtop sports sedan. Wow, look at all those cars. One says Donna Wynn, the original Desert Rose. Look at this. Oh, wow, man, these cars are beautiful. Like, okay, so I mentioned that he said some of them mostly survivors. There's a 1969 Charger Daytona, and that one has a sign that says Survivor. So that means that that's the original untouched paint from when it would have been new. You can see a little bubbling right there. Got the old spoiler on the back. This is a 1967 Indy Pace Setter. There's the SO man. <sighs> At attention. Fort Fury. And this one, I really like this the Charger 500 over here. 1969, it says modification. The grill was pulled forward, flush to the edge of the opening. So normally the this would have been pulled outward, which I, that's a thing about the car that I like. So I don't necessarily like the mod. It's an interesting shade. It's not pink. It's um, called Sahara Rose, 1992 Ford Thunderbird. Yeah, very interesting. It's almost um, a very, very light lavender almost. Sahara Rose. And then over here, 1963 and a half Galaxy 500 Fairlane Fastback. Look at the interior. Very cool. Really gave this place a vibe. Oh, I see a General Lee over here. I hope it's a screen used. Here we have a 1963 Chevy Impala 409. 
She's real fine, my 409. We have a 1965 Plymouth Belvedere. I'm not sure what model and year this thing was. This was the 68th Indianapolis 500 official pace car from 1984. Look at the interior. It's pretty cool. Here's a 1962-409 bubble top. Bubble top coupe. There's the General Lee. Either it's very screen accurate or it's used on the show. I would guess because the main reason being that it looks like they have the, the like roll cage or the bars in there. And that would have been something they probably would have had in there for filming. So for them to, you know, jump in, grab those and pull themselves into the car. So very likely that could have been a screen used, but it doesn't say that. And if it were screen used, they would probably tell us that. So here we have a survivor. 1969 Plymouth Hemi Roadrunner. This is very nice. Look at that hood. Volkswagen Bug. Looks like it's ready to go on a uh, camping trip or something. They've got it loaded up on the luggage rack. And then right next to that, a 1970 Dodge Challenger. Looks pretty good. Cool colors. Then we have a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT convertible. Oh. Color is just awesome. And then, oh boy. Old Bandit's car, baby. 1979 Pontiac Trans Am. That is very cool. I'd love to drive one of those just once to see what they feel like. There's that emblem. They even got a display hat. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? A 1970 Dodge Challenger in pink. Wow. I mean, I guess you'd say pink, maybe fuchsia. And then a 1969 Camaro Survivor. Oh man, that thing's awesome. Oh, wow. Camaro SS, wow. The interior looks awesome too. I'll take a look at this Mercury. I dig the colors. It's like uh, cream and navy blue. Mercury Cyclone Spoiler 2. Blue interior. Man, I like it. I like the color option there. Here I have another 1969 Mercury Cyclone Spoiler, but instead of it being blue and cream, this one's the red and cream version, both having the black hoods over there, but they have them like side by side here on display, so you can see the two cars on display. I love it. We have the 1950 Willys Jeep two-door station wagon. And then here we have another Survivor. Oh wow, that Thunderbird. That color is just amazing.
Wow, whoever had it kept it in great shape. Everything looks wonderful. Wow, good job. Just a little bit of uh, paint up here, kind of bubbling. A little bit of cracking up here. Probably not that uncommon for 57 untouched. Then a 57 Corvette convertible. Survivor, 1957 Nash. A 1970 Charger. And then a Super B. I could do without that color. What is that? Duracell battery brown? <laughs> 1969 Dodge Super B Hemi. Uh, yeah, I'm not into that color. That's a 1969 Dodge Super B liftoff. That's a little bit cooler. Definitely a better color. Over here we have the Judge. I've seen these before. Those are cool cars. Look at that front. The 1970 Pontiac Judge. Price new, $3,604. That's a 1970 AAR Cuda. This magazine has that same car on the cover. And then right here we have a Survivor. 1986 Buick Grand National. Which I'm not really that impressed with, honestly. Kind of surprised it would be here. Just the body style and everything just doesn't really fit the rest of the cars, I didn't think. Here we have a 1971 Hemi Cuda built because there were, huh, it says that they only made 11 of these. And the reason why, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. <laughs> Because that's all that was ordered. They only made what was ordered. Which, I mean, that's kind of crazy. You have that hole in your hood. Very crazy. It says it was only offered in 1970 and 71. I wonder why it was such a turnoff to people. I wonder why. But wow. <laughs> only 11 ordered. 426. Oh, nice. Dodge Challenger. Right next to, wow. That's an interesting pinstripe. It's like swirly yellow and black circles. Was that something they did for the 1970 Roadrunner? Or is that a custom deal? I wonder. I've never seen that before, but I guess like I guess it makes sense because I think that's supposed to be Roadrunner smoke or whatever, the dust behind him as he's running, so Yeah, I guess so. Now they told us they opened this back room back here for the first time today. So it's just a brief preview and then they're gonna open it in the future, so we'll check it out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're definitely not be able to go through this whole room. This is incredible. This guy's collection is great. A lot of the time my goal for the channel is not to show you every single thing. It's to show you a bunch of it to get excited about it. That's a Jordan. Or no, a Javelin, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my goal is usually to show you enough to be entertained and entice you to come visit it for yourself if you're physically able to so we'll do a little bit of a walk through this room big 
But yeah, I hope you'll come check this place out if you're in Myrtle Beach. 57 Ford Fairlane. Buick Wildcat. Who knows, maybe we'll see a famous car in here. Some movie car. I'm also kind of impressed by the depth of muscle cars that they collect because he told us there were a lot of Mopars. So I was getting excited for that. I love seeing that kind of stuff. But they have a lot more than that. That Chevelle is amazing. I love that color. And for some reason there's a carousel horse over here hauling this carriage. Wow, what a collection. I think I'll take one of those, please. This one's kind of neat because they have a before and after photo of when they got it before they painted it to look like this. Check this out. No longer rust flaked. That's pretty cool, that red, white, and blue car. I'm not sure what the uh, story on it is. It doesn't really have any information, but even the interior matches. At least the headrest does. Very cool collection. Big thank you to the Cummings family for putting their personal collection on display. This is uh, woo, Wheels of Yesteryear Museum. Very cool if you like muscle cars. We will catch you all later. Have a great night. Goodbye from Myrtle Beach.